Greetings everyone, what is up to me? What is up to me here again? Tam Prime One with another video review. If you're all in this video review, we're gonna be taking a look at Tretmer Cybertron Deluxe Class Red Alert. Now taking a look at Red Alert, I must say this about him. They did they did a really good job with him. I really do like his new vehicle mode from the from the Armada from the Cybertron series. Really great overall design. You can see already see like his feet down here along with his Hands and whatnot, along with his little head right there. Very nicely done detailing right there. I do like the G1. I think it's kind of like G1 right there. That, or it's more of a reminiscent based off of his Cyber, Cybertron Armada version. I'm remembering things in reverse. <laughs> but yeah, and all the way back, you can see the Cyber Key slot right there. Very nice. I really do like that. I also like the little siren bits right here. Really nice. I, was, I still I still love how they have to where his head is peering on out of his vehicle mode. And I do know about the repaint version of him along with the Starboard Planet Key Redeco of him as well called Crankcase. From like further on in for the all spark powered line and also um the version of him in Cybertron called Cannonball, all they did was just, I think they, all they did was just repaint him, but we deco his Cyber Planet Key into like a Decepticon Key, or they just left it as the Earth Planet Key. But yeah, really nice overall. You can see his chest in there with the Autobot symbol right there. Also, pretty good detailing on the on the grill right there. Pretty good detailing. I also like this right here. Maybe I, I think it's a, like a little paint chip right there. It does a tad bit of paint chip. But yeah, nothing too serious, nothing too serious. Nice little lights right here, nice little lights. Really good. I also like the transparent windows right there. Definitely shows off the entirety of the robot mode inside of right here. Because like up here is the main body of all here. The shoulders, the legs, and the back part of him. This does become a backpack. But yeah, overall, they definitely did a, um, a really good job with... Red Alert right here, very good job. Also love the detailing on the wheels right here, very good detailing. And also, I also like of how they are including rear view mirrors with where certain Cybertron figures. This one has a little bit of a paint chip, just a tad bit. Let's see how so That's a trans, I think these are transparent red doors and they just painted over them. Because yeah, like, oh, that's a little, little bit of a mess right there. Got that off. Little door handles right there, very nice touch, and also really great det detailing right there to make it look as realistic as possible. But yeah, and also you can definitely tell these are the arms down here. <laughs> you can definitely tell that. Also, a bit of stuff on the wheel right there. And you can roll, you can definitely roll on all four wheels. You can definitely roll. Now, I will be honest, I was considering on doing a video review on Wing Saber, but I was like, you know what, I have not yet done the entirety of the Cybertron Defense Team right yet, because like with, with Red Alert right here, he is like one of the key components of the Cybertron Defense Team, especially since he has like a giant, he is like a ginormous cannon on him. But yeah, really nicely done up detailing on him right here. Very nice. I do like with, the, with all that they've done with him. Right there, and also I want to go ahead and show the Cyber Planet Key gimmick right here. And here is the Earth Planet Key. The Earth Planet Key. He, ha, he and Scattershot use the same Planet Keys, but Hotshot's the oddball out of them all because he only uses the Velocitron Keys before they begin using the Autobot Keys as the Cybertron Defense Team. From what we all, from what I, from what I remember. And also, I kept on forgetting to do like the Japanese names because I believe his Japanese name is actually First Aid. In the series, while well, Optimus Prime is, um, let's see here, it's Galaxy Convoy and Leo Breaker is Le Leo Jack. I can't remember what Wing Saber's Japanese name was. I cannot remember it, but yeah, I forgot to mention some of those in my previous video reviews on the other figures. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Summer Planet Key gimmick right here. He does use this in both Earth, Earth, and both robot and vehicle mode. So yeah, there we go. And he has a couple of cannons that do appear on out of his vehicle mode. Very nice, very nice cannons right here. I do like his cannons 
on his vehicle mode, and plus, I find, and plus, I will say this, like, it's very odd that even though he has a medic, he uses cannons against the Decepticons, but I'm guessing it's because, like, hello, Decepticons, you guys are messing up, you guys are messing with us, I'm going to fire at you. Well, I think he more uses, well, he definitely does use these more as defense than, than offense. There we go. There we are. Bring back the little cannons. Well, I'm just going to do this one at a time. There we go. Push it on in. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Push that on in. There we go. There we go. We have really nicely done up with right there. Really nice little vehicle mode. But now it's time for some comparisons. I'm going to take out the Earth Pine key. Here he is with Cybertron Hotshot, along with Scattershot. The, they will be forming the Cybertron defense team relatively soon, along with Overhaul. And their leader, Optimus Prime. Oh! He's still pretty loose. He's he's like almost he's over fifteen years. This figure is over fifteen years old. Just give me one quick second to fix him on up real fast. There we are. There we go. I say every I think everything fixed on him. There we go. There we are. Okay. There we go. There we are. There we are. I can push him. Poor scatter shot gets the gets the. Let's just push Optimus right here, put Sky Shot right there. There we go, there we are. So yes, the entirety, most of the Autobot crew so far, I have yet to do Jetfire along with Landmine. I'll get down to them real soon. Jetfire, I'm having lots of my electronic issues with him. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that or just get myself a new Jetfire from online. That is going to be tricky. I'll admit that that's going to be very tricky. But yes. The entirety of the Cybertron team, most of the Cybertron team that did come to Earth in, Cyber, in the Transformers Cybertron series, before each of them were changed. These are the most of the Autobots are the only ones that changed around. Wait, why did I do that again? Why did I do that? I don't, don't, just don't ask me why I did that again. <laughs> did that again. <laughs> well, I, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I did not expect for Optimus to bump into the camera. Also, here's the original Red Alert that I had back in the day from the Armada series. This is not fully tabbed on and I don't, I think I might have mistransformed, I don't think I transformed his head properly. Hang on for a second, let me see if I can push his head on a little bit further. Kind of-ish. Yeah, I think I pushed his I don't think I push it. You know what? You know, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm not going to. I think I might have transformed them a little bit. But yeah, there's a good comparison between the two red alerts, one from Armada and one from Cybertron. And I guess I do know about his repainted version for the Energon series. I think that's a like classic Plastic Toys and Collectibles. And I plan on trying to get that at probably relatively soon. Cost $75, though. Cost $75. I don't have to wait until my next page that comes on in. But yeah, very nice, nice, very nice comparison. Very nice. You can definitely see. I, I, you can definitely see he down, they downscaled him. They downscaled him for this series. Now I think I know why it's because like of, of what they had planned for later on. So yeah. Now let's go ahead and get down to the transformation. Let's go down again the transformation. It's very simplistic. Just go ahead and pull his legs on down. Pull his legs on down. If I can't. Yeah, let's see here. Pull out his feet. Pull out his feet. I imagine a transformer doing this a very similar way, but completely different. There we go. We'll rotate his wheels on in. There we go. His rear wheels are the only ones that, that rotate in. His front wheels stay as they are. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, yeah, like back in the I'll admit this back in the day, I normally like like I saw I saw a race car and began thinking like about the 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 front and back ends forming the legs and the arms just being on top of the vehicle mode and the head probably being in the back right there. So yeah, that's that's one thing I, I, I was picturing back in the day. This was back at my old high school. I forget why the race car guy was there. I think they requested for him to come on by to encourage the students or something. I can't remember what it was. 
we go. Here we go so far. Here we go. Come on. Bring on both of his legs and just have them in together right there. Same with this side right here. Have them in together. Bring out his little backpack right here. Just bring it on out if possible. There you go. This is one of the figures I had to clean a while back. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Pull that on out right there. Pull that on out right there. Sorry, I'm having to look around the camera sometimes because I'm used to doing that right there. There we go. So far, there we go. Take his little skirt flap pieces, rotate them on down. There we go. And just pull up his head. There we are. And just bring up his backpack. Fold it up and rest it up against his back right there. And voila. Voila, there is Red Alert in his robot mode. Stop regulating, please. And I will say this, like his robot mode, they definitely, definitely did a really good job with his robot mode. I really do like this little, this little robot mode of his. Especially since they did a little nod back to his, to his um, Armada version with this little gun right here. This little gun, but as we all know, um, the, the Armada version of Red Alert, his gun is can like be separated if if you wanted to do so so that way you could like switch on out and whatnot but for this right here you don't switch on out with anything else but you do have a couple of things that are in here i do a bit of research to make sure i got these things correct because like i know the difference between crankcase and the diff i know the difference between both crankcase and red alerts tools go ahead Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them on out real fast. And here are those little tools, the little grabber claw. I do not recall if he used this or not. I think he might have. I'm not fully 100% for certain, but yes, here's a little grabber claw that he uses. I believe. I believe to like really um, do so to, to like do like some pretty big repairs because like this makes up for him not having a left hand. There you go. There you are. And also. A little um, I forget. I, I think it's like a, I think it's like a club, but I do have one thing to say about this. Yeah, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can fit it on here. It's not one. There we go. Hammer time. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> but yeah, he uses this as well. I believe he used this in like an episode of where um, of where he, of where they were trying to hit the ice to break it. To get the to get like I think Optimus and though like Optimus and a few other Autobots out of the ice in one episode. It's been a while since I've seen this this Autobot series. Like the whole like the whole thing. There we go. There we are. But yeah, that's like right there with Red Alert stuff right there. Let's go ahead and before we get down to anything else, let's go ahead and take a look at at like his articulation. Shoulders on a ball joint. His Arms can bend down and bend up, but that's primarily for the transformation gimmick right there. Same thing with this right here. There is no wrist swivel at all. There's no wrist swivel, but his wrist can come on up and go down, but that's primarily due to transformation. Same with this little gun right here. And also his legs, you can... His legs, they actually made it to where the engineering does work with this really well. Back right here at about a 90 degree angle. If you move this right here, you get like a more proper 90 degree angle. I got a little tad bit of one. Not really. Not really. Same with this leg right here, and they both can go forward as well. They're kind of like a double right there, but hold, pull, pull this one up right here. You can get like complete 90 degree in reverse. Red Alert needs a medic. He is a medic though. <laughs> But yeah, um, also, I will do this right here. He also can do the splits. He can do some, he can do splits right here. It's really weird why they did this right here. It's, I don't know why they did this right there. I have no idea. They could have just made sure he had waist articulation, and I don't think they had enough room, so they decided to make it to where he could do, like, some splits. I don't know. It looks weird. I'll admit, it does look weird like that. 
But yeah, nonetheless, they did a really good job with this right here. They did a really good job with that alert. I also do like, kind of, these kind of look like the little lights down there. Really nicely done. Also with the red alert, you can also swivel his head like so. Very nice, very nicely done. Also, Summer Planet Key goes in the back right here, and voila, you can activate the Summer Planet Key gimmick in robot mode still. Really nice, I do like that right there. With some of the Autobots and Decepticons, they don't really activate the, the, the Summer Planet Key gimmick at all while they're in either robot or or vehicle or animal mode like for instance with backstop they i will admit like i know i'm going to say this again in the next in the video review for backstop they don't do it for backstop at all like he only activates his summer key power in in um animal mode his random mode but not his robot mode at all i don't know why i guess it's probably useless in his rhino mode i'm not 100 percent for certain but yeah that's pretty much all the gimmicks right there with red alert and plus Still nicely done up details right there. Very nicely done up. I think these are supposed to be like faux grill pieces right here because the faux grill down there. I'm not for sure, but I do like the little detailing right there, especially with the Alibot. And also a very nice throwback to his original head, to his head skull back in Armada. I also love the, I think that's like a mustard or a spicy mustard gold plating. I'm not for sure. But they definitely did um, a really nice job with all the paint detailing on Red Alert. Really nicely done. Very nicely done. Now for the comparisons. Once again, we're going to go ahead and put him with the same Autobots that, I ventured in, that he ventured with to Earth. Hot shot. Still looks lopsided on the camera. I don't know why. Why is this on right over here? There we go. That looks a lot, a lot better. Optimus Prime, the leader. I'm in the back right there to make a little bit of room. Also, I'm going to move away. His tools on out of the way for the time being. Overhaul. And I will admit, I should have put an override since he and override since he and Archie do go to. Um, speed lamp, but I think I'll save that up for later on down the line. Here he is with scatter shot. There we go. So far, so good. Notice I did not pick him up this time. I did not pick him up this time. Now let's go ahead and store away his stuff right here. Let's go ahead and that, or we'll just do a bit of a comparison. Yeah, we'll just do a bit of comparison. Here he is with our Mono Red Alert. You can definitely tell they downscaled him compared to our Mono Red Alert. They downscaled him, but still, he is much bigger in his Cybertron Defense Team mode. Also, with a little bit of a comparison, about as long, about as long, I'd say. Well, this one doesn't doesn't even it doesn't even have, have a link on it. So let's go ahead and put these back in here real fast. Whoops! Now you can put these in either one. You can put these in either compartment. I have to lower that foot down, or just um. There we go. That fits right there. Nice. God. Or maybe it does matter which one it goes into. I'm not 100% for certain. Maybe it goes into this one right here. There we go. There we are. And taking away, taking off our model red alert. And I'd say that's it for this video review right here. Now, the best way to find Armada, I mean, I mean Cybertron Red Alert is via eBay, which is going to be very, very complicated, very complicated to do. But if you all like this video review, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Richmaker, and also check out, check out my Tim Prime 1 gaming channel. Also, look for me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. And until next time, I'm Tim Prime 1, and I'll be signing off right now. So, Peace out.